Great example is the voice cars, I guess it's coming to you, subscribe to all subscribers, just generally anybody who watches these videos. Uh, welcome back. Incoming! <laughs> What? Video! <laughs> so he says muck to the cows. Certainly smells like poop. Well, this is highly disappointing. I was told there was coos around here. No coos! So... I wanted to do this video a couple of weeks ago, but I actually recorded it and... To be honest... I didn't get round to posting it and I lost it. So recently on uh, some of the motorbike forums I've been I've been seeing a lot of people talking about uh, how their phones, their mobile phones haven't been acting or they've been acting pretty strange. You know like the screens vibrating after a ride and the, the camera vibrates after a ride. The, the the thing that linked all these phones together is they're using a very uh, a very particular mount and case. And they were saying, you know, why is this happening? And a lot of the a lot of them used the I'm not going to say their name, but it sounds like dog lock. A lot of them they live by these cases and they're like, oh, it's the best thing ever. You don't have to put it inside a wee box and blah, blah, blah. And what had actually happened is the they're, they're all new generation phones. So they're like the brand new singing all dancing Samsung and iPhone. A lot of people are saying that it's down to vibration oh you're not going to bother indicating are you oh you are now a lot of people said it's down to the vibration going through the handlebars of the bike when you hit bumps and you're generally just riding along the engine vibration and all this here now i want to I, 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 it's intriguing because i want to know more but i've never I, I can't see anything well i've never read anything online that was like directly related to vibration damage and the like phones which is pretty intriguing to think that are you actually doing damage to your phone when it's on your handlebars I use the ultimate add-on uh, casey thing here and the case and I do, I, I do actually mix it with an iPhone 6, which is a few generations behind now. And I don't have any problems. Now, this here itself has rubber around it to minimize the vibrations. And the case itself has a, like a, silica, a silicone insert inside the phone, which again takes away some of the vibrations. But I never actually thought that that would do any damage. I know it's not done any damage with mine because the iPhone 6s didn't really have image stabilizing. It's all the new new iPhones and new Samsungs that have it. Maybe it's just a bad combination between the certain case and holder that you're using and the phone or, you know, maybe they weren't built for that application of being on your handlebars I know the Americans absolutely love having a having a, an iPhone strapped to their, their 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 bikes because you can change their music when they're riding or long the only reason I ever have one on here is for uh, what do you call it sat nav but that's the question they asked it would you see the resemblance of damage? Have you witnessed it yourself? Because I know some people might have. What? What? 
He BMW, he waved. No, I need a slow mo. <laughs> Two up, all equipment up. I love seeing it. And he's going fairly fast. And here's a question too, while I'm on asking people questions. I recently took a trip down down the south, down to where they all talk funny. And uh, we were going to Belfast, or Belfast Zoo. <laughs> we're all going to Dublin Zoo for the day. and It's pretty much dual carriageway motorway all the way there. And then coming back, I think I took a wrong turn somewhere and he ended up coming through Dublin city centre. And here's the question to all my Irish followers. Whoopsie. Need to get this visor changed. Here's the question to all my Irish followers, especially the Dubliners. Um, what the heck happened to you, the conditions of your roads? They are absolutely shameful. I was filtering through traffic to get to where I was going. It was a, it was rush hour, so I was doing a bit of filtering, and uh, I stopped at the satellites and I went to put my foot in the ground. And uh, no word of a lie, my left foot went onto the ground, and my right foot was just dangling. And when that happens, when you've got two on a bike. It is really feckin' scary. I looked at my right, and <laughs> my right foot was nowhere near the ground. The ground was another, at least another foot down. The manhole cover was that sunk into the ground that I couldn't even touch the ground. That's scary. And I think like every street was the same. Oh, that was a good burning. Probably my Dutch. Oh, we smoked them. It was it was it was bizarre. Like I would claim the Dublin is a nice place but the roads are junk so we bit of a mixed bag load of questions to this video before i rip my visor off and smash it a couple of questions what do you think of the home mobile phone the mobile phone damaging thing your is your is your bike damaging your phone have you noticed it and uh, whereabouts in the UK and Ireland have you been that the roads have been in like a really bad condition and you thought no that shouldn't be like that let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like comment and if you haven't already subscribe it doesn't take much we don't spy as always keep it lit and if you can't keep it lit Vibrate your sat nav to a different part of the country. Are you coming?